Hi book lovers, my name is Natalie. I love books, so let's talk about them. All right, so this week I have what I read this past week and I'm gonna be honest, I'm impressed because I don't think I've read, um, I mean, this first one was a chunker. It was big. Um, so the two books that I finished this past week and I started on November 1st, um, so it's been a little bit over a week. Um, but the first book that I started on November 1st and I finished is The Priory of the Orange Tree. And like I said, I'm not joking when I say that it is a chunky book. Um, this is, this is over 800 pages, but it's 804 pages of like the story, if you know what I mean. There is like a glossary in the back and places and stuff like that, but it's 804 pages of story. Um, which is quite a, which is quite a hefty amount, um, because it's not like, oh Lord, someone's going to get mad at me for this, but, um, it's not quite like a YA book where, you know, the words tend to be just a little bit bigger and spaced out a little further. This one is, is, you know, I mean, it's an adult, it's an adult fantasy book. Um, not as thin and the pages aren't as thin as they could be. I have had one where they were super thin and it was. Just, just a pain to get through, but more because of the story than the book. So, so let's talk about The Priory of the Orange Tree. I love this book and I wasn't sure if I was going to. Um, I'm not a huge high fantasy kind of person. Like epic fantasy where they go on a j journey and there's a lot of walking is not really my thing. I like there to be quite a bit of action in my fantasy. There better be somebody chasing them and almost getting them. That's all I'm saying, okay? And that does happen in the story. So, you know, I one of the things that I saw in Goodreads was that a lot of people were complaining that the first half kind of moved slowly and then the second half went Pfft. And, um, you know, on the one hand, I would say, yes, that's kind of true. But on the other hand, I'd also say, no, I think it kind of went, you know, went well. Um, I mean, I was left with some questions at the end of the book, um, but I feel like, you know, when I really sat down and thought about it, um, which I like to do after reading such a massive book, I was like, I was thinking to myself, you know, what could she have done differently? And I feel like some of the some of the things, some of the problems that people might have had with it might be better answered like in a prequel or in a sequel, which I would really love. Samantha Shannon, please write me a sequel. I really need to know what happened to to that character at the end. If you've read it, you know. Yeah. I didn't understand it. Please answer it for me. Um, but anyway, so this book, you're following four characters, um, Eid, Tanae, Loth, who's the fourth? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh and Nicholas. And, um, you know, ugh, how do I explain it? This really is very difficult to explain the plot because it is so, it spans a lot. Um, there is history, there's political intrigue, there's religion, there's uh, the founding of religions and that being like rocked, you know, um, and it was just, it was good. Um, there's dragons, there's riding dragons, which I like. I really, one of the things I really loved about the Priory of the Orange Tree, and it's not something that's really a spoiler, so don't worry, um, is that there were two different kinds of dragons and the treatment of them was amazing. So you clearly had like a Western dragon, which is what we would think of when we think of like um, Western Europe and what they described as a dragon. And then you have the Eastern dragons um, and they are, done like that you know the west versus the east and then you have the eastern dragons which are more like what you see um in japanese and chinese mythology you know the dragons that they have there um and there's some you know why they're different and that kind of thing so that was really cool the magic was really cool too there were a few questions i had afterward um, but again, I feel like those questions would be better answered in like a prequel or a sequel. I don't think she could have put it in this book. Um, there was already so much going on here. 
Um, and it was, it was good. You know, it kept you wanting to read. Um, you know, it, see, this is where I'm going to get myself in trouble because it wasn't one of those books that I loved so much that when I put it down, I had to pick it back up again, but it was one of those books that when I was finished, it still stays with me. I still want to know more about the characters. So it's that kind of a book. Um, you know, it's not going to keep you like, oh my gosh, I need to know what's happening next. Um, but I do believe that it's one of those solid books that you're going to like. Um, I gave it four stars, so real quick on my rating scale is one star is I hated it, two stars I didn't like it, three stars it was okay, four stars I liked it, and five stars I loved it. Um, and five stars can be difficult to get from me or it can be really easy. You know, five stars is more of an emotional thing. It's like I have an emotional reaction and that's where I give it five stars. And sometimes I go back and I take it away because I don't remember what the story was about. Um, but this one got a solid four stars. I liked it. I thought it was good. Um, didn't really raise a whole lot of emotions, but at the same time, you're dealing with so many characters, it's hard to get like really attached to any of them. There were two characters in here, uh, Tanae and Eid, who I did kind of get attached to. So, um, you know, when some hardships befell them, and of course, hardships have to befall your characters, that's not a spoiler. Um, so when some hardships befell them, I was a little emotional about that. But other than that, um, you know, solid book, four stars, definitely would recommend you know if you like fantasy maybe even if you don't like fantasy but you just like a good story it was a good story and then second i managed after that sucker which i did read in one week by the way i finished it on thursday um i managed to pick up thinner and read and finish this one this one i had it was okay it got three stars for me it was okay it wasn't great it wasn't bad. It, I mean, it. Listen, I just finished Pet Cemetery last month, so you know, of course, it's not gonna live up to that either. Um, which terrified me, by the way. Be careful reading Pet Cemetery. So thinner is about this guy who um, gets cursed by a gypsy and he becomes thin. Um, if you've watched the movie which used to come on TV all the time and is actually one of my favorites. It is really cheesy. I'm going to be honest. It's a really cheesy movie, but I do love it. Um, I love a lot of those, you know, may, you know, Stephen King movies on TV and miniseries. They're also cheesy, but they're good. Um, and this really followed very closely. I feel this was, um, you know, it's not standard King fair. Uh, it was written under Richard Bachman, and I don't know if the other Richard Bachman books are like this, but I did feel like this one was laser focused. Usually with Stephen King, you not only have the plot, but then you have a subplot, and then you have a few other things that are what we've woven in. Um, this one, it was about Billy Halleck. It was him losing the weight. It was him trying to figure out how to take, get this curse taken off. It was nothing more than that. It was that. It was laser focused. Um, now, what he did really well in this book was talk about themes of revenge. But I I liked it um, because again, it's one of my favorite movies and it does give more information, you know, than the movie is able to uh, because it talks about the state of people's minds and what they're thinking. And that's something that you can't get when you're watching a movie or something like that. So, um, it was solid, you know, it was short. It was 282 pages, so it was like a couple of days. But it wasn't one of those books where I was like, oh man, I gotta finish it, I gotta finish it. I was like, uh, I could take it or leave it. It was okay. Again, nothing I'd really recommend. So, don't buy it, get it at the library read it quickly and then put it away. So that is it for this week. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great week. Bye.